Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today we're going to be looking at a problem dealing with diffraction, or specifically double slit diffraction. So what we have is a setup that looks something like this. Now this is by no means to scale. I have two slits like so, and they're separated here by a distance of 300 micrometers. We are told that we have a screen on the other side, and we have our central maximum right there, and we are asked where is our second maximum. So that's the one that we're interested in right there. And we're really needing to know what this distance here from there to there, like so, and we're going to call that Y. Now we're also told that the distance between the screen and the double slits is equal to 10 meters, like so. Now let's put down the formula. The formula says that M lambda is equal to D sine theta. Now the M represents the order that we're interested in, the second order, so that's going to be 2. Our lambda, well that was also given in the question, and that's equal to 632 nanometers, and so I'm going to multiply this by 632 by 10 to the power of negative 9, like so. Now, our slit separation is 300 micrometers, so that's times 10 to the power of negative 6. And then we have sine theta. Now, how do we work this out? Well, to work this out, you need to, first of all, draw this line. So I draw a triangle like so, and we can work out this angle here, knowing that that tan of that angle is equal to y over 10. But hold on, that's tan theta, and I'm after sine theta. Now the beauty about this is that if the screen is nice and large, in other words, this is clearly much, much smaller than my 10 meters, then my sine theta approximates to tan theta. And so I can replace that. So now what I have is 2 outside of 632 by 10 to the power of negative 9 is equal to 300 by 10 to the power of negative 6. Now our sine theta is now, remember, tan theta. So now I can say that is y over 10. You can see now, all we need to do is rearrange this. So if you calculate that out, you're going to get a value of y of 0.042 meters, or 4.2 centimeters. So that is the distance from there to there. Now again, note, this value is really small compared to this. If this angle becomes significantly larger, because the screen is a lot closer, then you're going to not have this relationship as accurate as you can, because sine theta and tan theta start to deviate from each other. Anyway, I hope that has helped you understand the basics of the diffraction formula. My name is Paul from Physics High. Bye for now.